Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Scout and today we're going to be looking at Alana Melissa's channel because I think she's great. I think she reacts to fat uh, activism really well. I like her points and yeah, I just I respect the woman. So let's get right into it. Also, thank you so much for the subscribes. My channel is growing way faster than I expected even if we're only to 30 subscribers. I mean, 30 subscribers in like a couple weeks or something crazy like that. I mean, come on, how could I not be thankful for that? Like, you guys are awesome. I love you and yeah, please enjoy. A commentary here on YouTube. You can also find me on Instagram at Alana Melissa. All right, so before and after photos. Um, I'm gonna put like a bunch of like B-roll in. I'm gonna put TikToks that I've screen recorded about before and after. I'm gonna put Instagram posts, Reddit posts, etc., etc. Um, the general consensus, because I'm going to sum this all up for you guys to keep this under a certain time frame. The general consensus of this is that before and after photos are fat phobic because, it's in there somewhere, mm -hmm. because they're pushing the idea that a smaller body is a better body and that it's not okay to look plus size. <sighs> Did I get yeah, that right? I, I think, I, I think yeah. I'm pretty sure that's the general yeah, so consensus. And a lot of different TikTokers have their own reasons for this. And they have, you know, they go on and on and on. It's, it's all the same. It's all the same, okay? Um, okay? Oh my gosh, excuse me. The first one says, sorry, I always lean forward. I'm really weird. Before and after weight loss photos are, or and videos are fat phobic. And they're just dancing to the song because they are stupid and they think they're making a point but they just make themselves look even stupider like, i'm sorry that like i gradually i've been gradually getting more uh salty in my videos but like i'm just done i never had sympathy but like i'm not gonna show any i'm not gonna sugarcoat it like i'm here i'm making this i made this channel to like be real and i'm going to be real and if you get offended by that somehow then you are just as bad as them so continuing <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED talk, to my TED talk. I Ta hope that you choke on a piece of concrete and literally go to hell. Let's dissect this awful, awful take. Why don't you want to be fat? Why would I want to be fat? Give me a good example of like why I should be fat then. Like, if I'm not fat now, why would I want to be fat? Like, and then this girl who's responding to this person who's responding to her, I think, says, I don't want to be fat because it was a toll on my physical, mental, and emotional health. But what does my health have to do with other people's health? Yes. Um, seems like internalized insecurities. Exactly. Thank you. She's, she is right. She's right on it. Like, absolutely. It's internalized insecurities. Go on. Tell me. Just did. Is it because of your health? Doesn't matter. So you assume all fat people are unhealthy? All fat people are unhealthy. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm not gonna backpedal on that, but i just add a little, little more context. Um, It kind of depends. No, it doesn't. Because I know like you can be like slightly overweight and maybe people can classify you as fat and you're not like exactly unhealthy. Like if you're 10, 20 pounds overweight, like that's not great, but that's not like detrimental to your health. But if you're like 30 pounds and above, you're probably a little more unhealthy. I would know. Is it because you don't want to look like them? Yes, it is. Which is still fat I'm not, Sorry, I'm not reading her captions because I just want to say what I want to say, but I'll... The girl says, I don't want to be fat because I feel more confident with muscles. It has nothing to do with anyone else. Again, internalized insecurities. Not everyone wants to be a muscle mommy, but I'm not calling them muscle phobic. Yeah, exactly. Like, come on. Have a have a brain. Have one functioning brain cell, maybe. Mine died a long time ago, so. It's just, it's kind of like how people with eating disorders have internalized fat phobia. That is like so not right. That is so not right. That is unfair to those poor people who suffer with EDs. Like, insensitive, disingenuous dismissive of people who actually suffer like why don't you shut up just sh shut up and this girl says did you forget binge ed exists are they fat phobic yeah people overeat is that fat phobic didn't think so 
Are you a psychiatrist slash therapist? Because if you were, then you would know most ED have to do with coping with trauma, not really having to do with body size slash being fat. It's control. Yeah, exactly. Like I've said before, people who suffer with EDs or get to like a humongous size or like even like underweight, like it comes from a source of some sort of trauma or some sort of past. Like it's not normal. A normal person with a level head would not they would have that control over themselves and what they eat, but and we need to not, they're that sick. And learn to accept that and move on and heal from them. You know what? I, I'm willing to accept the fact right now that uh, this is the worst take I've ever seen. Sorry, I'm being quiet. Because your parents can you hear you. Comment about my health. Shut up. Uh, not going to assume your health, but it's more than just blood work. My blood was good when I could barely wake walk up walk up the stairs and was bedridden at 17 yeah like sorry the there's words covering the caption so it's true like people um fat influ fat influencers all the time will say my blood work is great my cholesterol is fine my doctor says i don't need to lose weight like okay well you're 21 right now just give it like 10 10 5 10 years and <laughs> You will be eating your words. My ratios are a little high because I'm dehydrated and my glucose is a little high, but not an issue. My All doctor's your excuses. Never you, do y'all really think posting pictures from when you were sick helps other people? Yeah. Because then they see where you were and they're like, oh my gosh, that was me. I'm like that. And then they see the, the difference that it makes. Like, if you actually put in the work and they get inspired, like, I want to be like that. If they can do it, I can do it. It's, like, the same idea with, like, a, an obese personal trainer. Like, who's going to want to be trained by someone who's obese? Because you see, you see the result in them that you want. Because, if, hey, if they got there and they know how to get there, then they can help me get there. And that's what I want for myself, you know? Do you, hopefully that makes sense. So Matt here says, so things that weren't made for people with an unreasonable amount of body fat is Don't fat quote like that. There is What's an unreasonable amount of body fat. and after photos are fat phobic. Shaking my- You're breathing really heavily for someone who's just sitting there and talking. Sorry, that was me, but- First of all, there's no such thing as an unreasonable amount of body fat. Yes, there is. That's you being- Fat phobic. No, it's All right, not. big boy. I'm gonna have to stop this right here and just step in for a second. Thank you. Saying that there's no such thing as an unreasonable amount of body fat is really irresponsible in it my is. opinion. Um, I think that when it gets to the point where you are losing mobility, that's an unreasonable amount of body yes, fat. Yes, yes. This can come in other forms, like when people get muscles that are so large they can't wipe properly. Oh, that's for an sure. unreasonable amount of muscles. But the you know initial statement stands true. There is such a thing as an unreasonable amount of body fat. Congratulations, ass. Yeah, I mean she's right. She's definitely right. Um, I, you can have an unreasonable amount of a lot of things, like muscle, like bodybuilders who can't like do mundane things because their muscles are so big like that's unreasonable and it goes the same for fat people so it's like both sides both extreme sides of the spectrum can be ridiculous if that makes you feel better fat sapphic bro you're not alone okay this caption says uh so things that weren't made for people with an unreasonable amount of body fat is fat phobic what's next before and after photos are fat phobic shaking my head I don't know if they're gonna read it, so my apologies if they do. Hat, um, yeah, not having things that accommodate all people is fat phobic. It's also able. Yeah, but they're made to accommodate all people. You are the exception. So that is pretty ironic considering that you claim that you are the majority. Actually, you might be right about that. Uh, fat people are the majority, almost the majority in uh, the United States, which is very alarming, but you know what? It's cheaper to just not cater to you guys as much. So don't know what to tell you. It's literally the pinnacle of disability rights that all not. bodies will be accommodated. Does that- Stop comparing fat phobia to like all 
to everybody else who actually has problems. Like, you you not being able to fit in a freaking chair is not the same as being closeted by your parents and being traumatized by them and abused by them for having the same feelings for someone of the same sex. Like, you are just dismissing that pe- those people who have actually suffered, who have actually deserved um, basic human respect and rights that they fought for, it- it's just so backwards. Like, how dare you? How dare you sit there and claim that you are oppressed and then mix in all these other people who have nothing to do with you as a shield and an excuse to be fat. Like, how dare you? <sighs> Makes sense, I'm saying it real slow, trying to be very- And the fact, artic- you're trying to make a point, you're trying to have people like you and have people listen to you. No one's gonna listen to you if you are constantly being dismissive and like, I don't know, just tearing apart every single comment that you don't like because it doesn't align with what you say. You know what? Maybe you could take these comments and make a real argument out of it and make that like an opportunity for you to show a reasonable side to your argument. Because yes, fat people can be mistreated. I'm not saying that they can't. I'm not saying that doesn't exist. What I'm saying is this has gone way too far. Like it is not that much of a problem to where it needs to be a whole systemic movement. Like you are not oppressed. You are privileged. You idiot. You are privileged. Anyone that size is privileged in a way because they have the money to afford that food. They have the money to obviously just sit around and have nothing going for them in their lives so they can- they don't have to work. Like, maybe you're getting disability checks because you're now bedridden because you're so fat. And, uh, yeah. Being fat is easy. Being lazy is easy. People who put in the work deserve to- If they feel like it, share that with other people and get that praise because they earned it. You've earned nothing at all. The only thing you've earned is a disgusting body and just zero life, so. Feel it about how I explain this. If your furniture in your restaurant whatever store doctor's office can't fit people of literally all sizes then yeah you have an accommodation issue so when you say every size do you mean every size like people upwards of tammy slayton size where you can hardly walk or you need assistance in order to just get into these places because that just seems very unrealistic to me and it is chairs that hold those those type of weights like excess of 800 Expensive. pounds um, they're very expensive, you know, per chair. I just did some digging, and one of the lowest ones I found was about one hundred and fifty-six dollars <sighs> per chair. So I'm just imagining no a restaurant that. that seats maybe forty to fifty people. If you buy every single chair to accommodate that weight, it just sounds like a lot to ask, especially of small businesses like places like here, like New York City, where it's like we can't really afford to do things like that like to swap everything out for that one demographic that can't fit in regular chairs that seems like a you problem expecting the entire world to bend to your very very specific niche needs seems like a you problem and if you can't fit in a standard chair or even like uh like they have heavy duty chairs nowadays if you can't fit in like a heavy duty chair that can hold upwards of 400 pounds that is a you problem and i really hope you're not projecting that onto everyone else period and a fat phobia issue also you're clearly new here because i've made at least two videos talking about how before and after weight loss pictures are inherently fat phobic okay that's another thing it's like oh you're new here you must not have seen my other videos yes so what are they supposed to just go through your entire account and make sure that they know everything about everything you've ever said about this like no you make videos like two or three times a day or something like that ridiculous because you have no life people don't have to like look through your entire account until they find like your point I, like, your impression is whatever they scroll across, like, going down their For You page, and if they, they are entitled to their own opinions without having to 
like look through your entire account so so yes that's hot it is fat phobic now you probably no are not going to understand this and you're probably going to try to run your mouth more but if i see you comment again and it isn't an oh. apology oh. and a correction of your really really shitty mm -hmm. immature My heart. childish behavior actually no it's not childish i don't want to insult it's children children are fantastic you're being an asshole Mm -hmm. So if you want to be bigoted and rude on my page, you're just going to get blocked. And future communication from you will be deleted. And if you continue to harass me, I'll just continue to report you for harassment. Now, I don't want anybody so to scared. bully this douchebag. Because I don't need my account. Obviously you do! <laughs> you are bullying right now! Okay, and you, you, that whole tirade was you just bullying them. And I think they make a pretty good point. Like, I know sometimes it's like, you don't have to make snarky comments. Like, you're just going to get snark back. But like, oh my gosh, you cannot take like anything. You, you sorry little, or not little, you little snowflake. Like, oh my gosh, you are an adult and you can't handle it. Affected by this asshole um but i did want to at least have the comment response for people so that folks know what is and is not acceptable on my page because this shit this rhetoric not acceptable on my page so yeah um i'm gonna cut it there because i that's a pretty long video um shout out to alana melissa you should definitely go follow her she makes some good points um and yeah i know i've been kind of mean today and i'm not going to apologize for that because i don't feel sorry uh Take that as you will. I am not here to tell you to go after those people, obviously. I can't stop you, but please don't. It doesn't help anything, obviously. They're already miserable enough. We don't need to uh, we don't need to fuel them and give them a reason to hate us more than they already do. I don't even know if that's possible. So uh takeaway. Uh before and after photos are not fat phobic you are just insecure and can't handle the fact that somebody actually put in the effort to change their lives and you failed. And not everyone who fails at doing a huge transformation is like a terrible person or anything like that. But you can't be sitting there screaming at other people for or complaining about other people who put in the work, who are proud of themselves as they should be and deserve recognition for that. And you haven't done a single thing. Like, if you really are that mad about it, use that anger to fuel um, yourself going to the gym. And you constantly dismissing people and uh, making all these, like, different claims that all these different groups are, like, somehow involved with your group just to make you sound more oppressed. And, like, this... Like, fat sapphic bro will, like, sit there and be like, I'm, like, I don't remember what they were, but they were, like, trans, queer, and fat. Like, as if that means anything. No one gives- no one cares what you are. What you say, it's unacceptable. And you don't get a free pass because you're all these things. Because no one cares. You're not special, you know that? You are not special. Because you're gay or you're trans or whatever. So don't don't sit there and tell me that because I'm not going to let that one slide. That is not your personality. That is not what defines you. That is just a part of you. Your sexuality is not who you are. That just like me being straight. That doesn't define who I am as a person. That's just my preference and that's that's that. I know maybe some people think it's more deep than that, but that is my opinion, and I'm not going to say like anything against anyone who has those feelings, but I'm saying it is so not okay to use that as a shield, as if that's going to protect you from something that you say. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and comment down below um, what you thought. I would love to hear some feedback. Thank you so so much for the likes and the subscribes. Like. We are getting this channel started on a really strong, I lost the word, but you know, 
just a really strong start. So thank you so much. Uh, I appreciate all of you and take your meds, drink your water, stay healthy out there. I know it's hard for a lot of people. <laughs> so yeah, uh, peace.